Hello friends, we are again here with a new case involving reverse calculations. I would like to say that this is one of my favorite problems in the linear correlation and not only mine but also a favorite of many of the paper setters particularly in India. The information available is coefficient of correlation is 0.5 sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar that means the summation of the products of the deviations taken from arithmetic mean is 120 sigma x minus x bar the whole square that means summation of the squared values of the deviations taken from arithmetic mean is 90 and standard deviation of y is 8 we need to find out n means number of observations or sample size again out of which coefficient of correlation and standard error are two things which can be found through their own formula. But we also know that in the formula of calculation of standard error of y, there is no role of these two parameters. So if we write the formula of st standard deviation of y, it will not be of any use but if we write formula of coefficient of correlation all these have their own role in that formula so to find n as a missing entity we need to write the formula of coefficient of correlation and not the formula of standard deviation of y let us write a formula of coefficient of cor correlation which can have all these as components and the formula is coefficient of correlation equals to summation of the products of the deviations taken from arithmetic mean in simple words sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar upon n into sx into sy see all the components are there indirectly in sx, the x sigma x minus x bar whole square is also there. Now what? Uh, let us substitute the values. R 0.5, coefficient of correlation 0.5, sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar 120. N is missing. Sx is also not there. But one of the component of the formula of Sx is there. So, Sx... We can say that this is something like this. So, if all the available values are substituted, the scenario is like this. Now, what? Nothing. Cross multiplication and simplification. Uh, we put it here n into under root 90 upon n equals to. 120 upon 0.5 into 8 that means n into under root 90 by n equals to 120 upon 4 that means n into under root 90 by n equals to 30 now to have the value of n first of all we have to remove the sign of square root and for that purpose we have to take square on both the sides so n square into the square of this will remove the sign 90 upon n equals to 30 square or you can say that something like this n square is n into n into 90 upon n equals to 900 and cancellation of 1n so ultimately n is 900 divided by 90 so n or number of observations or sample size comes to 10 thank you very much